I put the high splice in this, put the braid on braid drop. So I'll just uh, get the eye size gauge first. Uh, and I'm going to leave a tail about a fid length. So that's why I've got the fid there. And where the eye meets, I'm going to put on a marker. So that's my eye gauged up. I'm going to back into that uh, second mark there on the standing pair and I'm going to pull out uh, the inner braid. That's a bit fiddly. Uh, I'll use this spike to get in and grab ahead of it. Now we've got them up. Oot. I'm going to mark it so as I can where it was I came out. Because uh, I'll need to refer to that position later. I'll be marking a couple of their marks. So there, there's the braided core to nut. And there's the mark. And I'll pull a bit more slack. Now for that mark, I'm going to mark another two marks when a full fid length uh, in towards the rope. And then the next one for that mark, I'm going to put one about three quarters the length of the fid. Now, I'm going to take the outer sheath and I'm going to splice that in the first mark and out the second mark. So I'll take that fit there and thread them through. And out the second mark. And take that sheath into the fit. There's a pretty hook at the back of the fit. And uh, so I'll just bait that in, and that helps pull uh, the rock through, stop it from sliding out. So, in and out. In one mark and out the other. It's a bit compressed, that, but that's fine. That's what we want. Now I'm going to attack the uh, end of the sheath there and I'm going to taper it a bit with the scissors there. Uh, this taper is going to sit inside uh, and disappear and I'll just expand uh, the inner cord there and in the inner braid and just get it all to sit inside. I'll stick on a bit of tip here. If I didn't do this then when I'm working with the other tail, there's a chance that it might pull out. Right, I'm going to attack this, the braided inner bit, and I'm going to splice it in through uh, the next bit that up there that I've just indicated. Just trim that uh, loose bit in there, that'll not be needed. I've packed this slightly smaller fid here for this one. And just near the base of where the cord is coming out there, I'm going to stick them through there. And uh, the fid's kind of short, so I'm just going to feed it through as best I can, expanding and contracting as we go along and just uh, feeding it through. And I'll take the fid uh, between 5 and 10 centimetres uh, done past where we see the core coming out there. Let's go for about 5 centimetres there. This can be kind of tight sometimes, so I'll just pull them through. Uh, I'm not going to pull it just out of the way through tight because I'm going to uh, feed some of the slack cord back up along there, the, the, the outer braid. As you can see there, it's kind of getting fed in and it's pulling in the uh, inner core as we do that. But there's just a pretty bit of 
playing the run needed here, just to howling and shivering to, to get it to work in. So that's that one binding in fine. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attack some of the slack that's built up further down the cord and run that up through so as I can bind in uh, the other exposed inner cord that we see uh, just down below the eye. And that was that first bit that we spliced to begin with. So a pretty bit of howling and shivering needed there. This is where you would really need two folk. Uh, one heading further down so you can pull against uh, and when you holding the eye and pulling as you milk the outer core around. I'm just tacking away the bit of tip that I left on there because that bit of braid needs to go right in. That was the bit of tip that I put on to stop the tail from sliding out initially. So feeding more slack up. And pulling it through. Now at this point I uh, took it and hooked it over a handle so I could put a bit of strain on uh, for the eye side as well. And there we go, there's the strain I've been pulled through for both ends, holding the eye and also feeding down uh, the slack sheath. <laughs> 